In this video, I'm going to show you how to add credentials for your VMware hosts so that you're able to do uh, scans of your virtual machines. So I'm in the screen for infrastructure providers. I could drill in from here. That's what I'm going to do. Or you could go to infrastructure hosts. That's the other option. So now I will get to my hosts. I think I'll only do the hosts that are running. Um, you can do one host at a time, but in this case, my hosts happen to have the same password, so I'm going to do them all at once. So I've selected all of them, except for the uh, one that's not running. Configuration, edit selected hosts. And now I'll put in my credentials. <clears throat> In order to validate, you have to choose at least one of the hosts. All right. and I will save it. And now, my next step here is I'm going to do a smart state analysis on the hosts. Just so you can see, here's what you have when you uh, first refresh relationships related to for a host from the VMware provider. When we do a smart state analysis, we'll find out the packages, files, advanced settings, um, and some other more in-depth information. So actually, I'm going to go back to and just do four hosts at once. Configuration, perform smart state analysis. And you'll see that it's initiated all of them, just so you can see where things are. Actually, let me just talk about the thumbnails briefly. In the upper left is the number of VMs. Right tells you the power state. Lower right tells you the credential state. And lower left tells you the vendor. All right, so now I can actually go into um, configure tasks. And I'm going to go into my other UI tasks. And you can see that it's working on the smart state analysis, or it has completed the smart state analysis for your hosts. And then you can see we get all these advanced settings. Again, this will be depend on what platform you're using. And um, that's it. That's how you get your credentials in for your host and perform a smart state analysis on them.